What's going on, everybody? It's Big T back with some MW3 zombies. We have, uh, we got some new news. We got some new news today on, uh, season two. Season two of MWZ. I've been patiently awaiting. In the meantime, I've been playing some Power World and, uh, you know, just chilling. Just chilling and waiting. And, um, today we, we finally got a sneak peek as to what we're gonna get. So we are gonna get right into it and talk about it. But first, look at this, uh, I love the camos on the uh on the lockwood it's a shame that i use my little crystals and i can't uh keep it i wish i could i wish i could keep this one but i do have uh all my all my stuff with us today i'm, I'm loading in with just some good shit because i want to be able to move move around um but yeah, they they talked about Warzone. They talked about um, MWZ, and so we've got we've got good news, and we've got some not so good news. If you're a fan of uh, of MWZs, and so we'll we'll start with the good news. Um, there is what appears to be a considerable amount of new things and new content coming to the game. So a couple of things that they. Um, they talked about it says in season two strike teams from operation deadbolt continue to confront terrifying trans-dimensional anomalies uh new secrets await in the exclusion zone and tensions are heightened this time as terminus outcomes have followed your teams into the rift thankfully you have an expert guiding you sergey ravanov which was um What's his name's uh, right hand right hand man? We talked about that before. Battle alongside uh, the rest of your squad, completing a series of dangerous tasks and find your way out of the dark ether before it's too late. So we have a new dark ether story mission coming. I don't know if this is still going to be considered Act uh, Act Four or if this will be Act Five, but it does only mention that one. It only mentions the one story, but it, it's going to be a dope one. So acts one through three, you know, obviously you had the final story mission on each of those, but like most of the missions were just completing contracts. Um, and so this one, similar to the season one update, probably is just going to be one like good, good mission, though. Like the act four mission. I mean, it was dope where you went into the dark ether and you fought the original worm in there um and you found all the sigils so that should i mean it's not gonna take a long time to complete probably just a, a day or two but it'll still be it'll still be dope um so that i thought all in all looked good um on top of that there's gonna be a second dark ether or at least a second rift it's kind of hard to tell um what they're talking about. It says a new story mission with new terrors lurking within the dark ether awaits you. You will utilize a variety of redacted during the investigation of a second rift. Alarming aberrations abound in this new maze as a mysterious entity makes her presence known to Ravanov and the team while they frantically search for an exit from the rift. I'm guessing that might be Samantha. So if you go back and think about the season one uh, cutscene, how it like froze on her um, at the very end. So could be could be her. It says unearned coveted rewards follow cryptic clues and complete timed tasks, all while facing down the largest infected stronghold yet seen. So this seems like, a, you know, a continuation of the Easter egg. It's, a, you know, abound in this new maze, follow cryptic clues. I like that. I like that. So already we've got, the um, you know, an extension of the Easter egg. We've got new story missions coming and then they get into some of the new items. So we have three new schematics coming in uh, in season two. Two we've already talked about one. I think sounds dope, uh, but I, this is the first time I'm hearing of it, um, which is the mags of holding schematic. It says, who has time to reload? Not you. If you've activated the mags of holding, which allows your ammunition to feed directly from your weapons, ammo stash, essentially eliminating the, re the need to reload your ammo. So like, yeah, if I have, you know, 150 shots in my fucking in my shotgun, I just shoot the 150 shots. Yo, I'm kind of getting fucked up, ain't I? Need my ether blade. I haven't played in a couple days. That's why I wanted to hop back on because we got less than a week to uh, to this update, and I gotta get back in the zombies in the zombies groove. You know what I mean? Tier three is kind of 
having his way with me right now. Oh, you know what I really wanted to do? I wanted to go. Are they already doing it? Wait, where the fuck? Oh, it's not there. It's a legacy. Wait, they started alternating it between Dokabi and Legacy? I mean, okay. Anyway, so the mags of holding, that sounds dope. I said they needed to do a new schematic, bro. Like the other ones are will be cool too, but something something brand new. I don't think that's ever been has that ever been like a perk or anything in zombies? Where you don't have to reload? I don't think so. Um and then the other two we've already talked about ad nauseum, uh, the blood burner key. It says there's no need to scavenge for the blood burner wonder vehicle on the map if you're carrying the key. Simply use it to summon the possessed two wheeler without a lengthy search beforehand. So uh, blood burner key, the blood burner key, like what it actually looks like is pretty sick. I probably won't put a picture on the screen, but you can find it. Um, uh, and then the VR 11, I think that's, that's going to be the dopest one. The VR 11 is so clutch, bro. Um, VR 11 schematic says those strike team operators planning on forming their own temporary regiment of undead friends or transformed humans can now take the VR 11 wonder weapon into imported outings. Thanks to this schematic. So that'll be good. And then, um, a new warlord as well. I don't know how to pronounce his name though. Karis is K-E-R-E-S. I think I'm just going to call him Curse just because it's easier to pronounce than Karis. I'm certain that Curse is not how you pronounce it, but um, it's easy to say, so I'm going to just say that. The Warlord Curse has set up her fortress in the Kill House at Orlov Military Base. Um, says she's known as Deadly and she's a chemical fighter. So like Dokabi was known for, you know, the drones or whatever. She fucking flies. Uh, this is a, a chemical kind of warlord um, operator. So her defenses should be approached with extreme caution. Expect the exterior to be well fortified with soldiers, snipers, turrets, and traps, as well as poison gas grenades. It would be wise to bring gas masks. Uh, breaching the fortress is only the first challenge. Once inside, expect visibility issues as Curse's new gas compound hangs in the air throughout the facility, disrupting almost all sensors including thermal weapon scopes. Perhaps there's a way to counteract this? And that's it. That's it. So that was the good news. Um, I think that that sounds pretty dope. It sounds kind of similar to season one. Like, okay, you know, get some new schematics, extend the story. Like, there's nothing like insanely new, but that at least gives, you know, that's some, that's some new content. That's some new content right there. Now, this drops in a week. February 7th is the release of season two. For the bad news, none of that shit is coming on February 7th. None of it. Everything they announced for MWZ is a mid-season update. So at launch, season two, everybody's fucking happy as shit coming home from school or whatever. They're getting on to play. Zero. Zero content. Um when it updates at least from this blog post now we might get lucky there's got to be a new replayable boss like if there's no new like red worm basically but not the red worm but some like replayable easter egg boss i'm gonna be so pissed so i'm thinking that may be in there at launch similar to how it was at, at season one with the red worm um but in terms of everything I just talked about and uh, the season season two kind of release, none of none of that shit's in the game. It's all mid season, so that's <laughs> that's the bad news. Um, and that is that is pretty shit news, if I'm being honest with you. I just man, I want it. selfishly I want MWZ to do well. Modern Warfare Zombies has kind of like rejuvenated my YouTube channel. We gain subscribers all the time. We get views again. My uh, MW3, you see the solo video hit the algorithm? The solo uh, all bosses one game challenge? That shit hit the algo. It's got 100k views. I was hyped. Um, and so, yeah, like selfishly, I want MWZ to do well. I like playing zombies. People like watching it. I'm good at it. Like, that would be sick. Um... But it seems like they're just, they're playing from behind, bro. 
We've got tons of layoffs happening in the industry. That has not ended. Um, just the other day, you know, a ton of people got uh, got laid off from Activision Blizzard. Um, some of which I'm sure were working on zombies. A lot of it was like esports staff, um, Call of Duty League staff, which is very unfortunate. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, who knows how many people are working on this thing? I really think they're like... They released something like season 1.5 reloaded and then they just listen to what the community says and then they're reacting to what people are saying but the thing is when you're at a company as big as activision blizzard like these things take time and so it's got to be done like not only to create the things but there is so much like compliance and approvals and denying and testing that has to be done before you can actually release anything um they you can't afford to react you know what i mean you gotta be this is why i love epic games and fortnite they don't really react they are proactive in their updates they're thinking you know if they're releasing season one they have already thought and like started executing on what their season two is like they you know what i mean like they're just ahead of the game always um they're never reacting to what the community wants they're giving the community what they didn't even know they wanted cod's not doing that cod is is not doing that they're like they're putting it out and they got a dope mode and they're like oh shit what, what do we do next i don't know and so then it takes forever and that's why you know at release there's gonna be nothing because they didn't even know what they were gonna do until after season one release. I fucking guarantee you. There is a little bit more good news, however. Um, there's a rumor, this is not confirmed yet, but apparently High Moon Studios, which they've, uh, they're owned by Activision too, but um, there's a rumor that they have now been tasked with Modern Warfare Zombies um, with MWC, which will allow Treyarch to completely focus on the next game and round based zombies which is probably for the best like instead of having a Treyarch skeleton crew working on MWZ and like it's kind of a side gig say fuck it okay Treyarch you work on you work on the next game that's fine and let's have a complete dedicated team working on what we have in front of us right now like I said that's a rumor from some of the rumor twitters that I follow for MWZ um, but, uh, I think, I think that would be for the best. Honestly, I think that'd be fantastic. I don't know how, uh, how well High Moon Studios does zombies, but, you know, we'll see. My dogs are barking. I got one of my dogs in here. He just keeps fucking, the baby's crying in the living room. And for whatever reason, the baby cries, he howls like at the top of his lungs. It's a screeching ear piercing howl not cute it's not cute. kevin stop what do you say help by pack three? Oh, i got you moving this way i got you big dog that's me i will save you there we go thank you um i don't have quick revive oh wait yeah i do Got you, dog. Am I even triple papped yet? I don't think I'm triple papped. Saved his ass. I gotta do some, uh. Yeah, I brought in my refined crystal. I did. I saved my flawless Ethereum crystal. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to do some contracts around here. Get my guns up. I was gonna use something, level up a gun to do the camos or whatever, but I just really felt like using a good gun if I'm being honest. Got your ass, buddy. 
<clears throat> so, anyway, that, um, that's pretty much, that's the gist. That's, that's where we're at for, uh, for MWZ. A lot of, uh, a lot of good looking content. I think it'll be dope when it's here, but like, it's already felt like a long wait. You know what I mean? Just the week that I've had playing like Power World and not really on MWZ that much, it just feels like they're letting it, they're just letting it slip. They're letting it slip out of their hands instead of, uh, instead of grabbing it by the balls. You know what I mean? You gotta fucking grab life by the balls sometimes. And they, uh, just don't think they're doing it. But once the time comes, um, I think it'll be sick. I think there'll be, there'll be plenty to play, plenty of content to, uh, to do, but it's just gonna take uh, a little bit of time. I'm trying to think when season two reloaded would even happen. If it comes out, it comes out February 7th. So probably what? First of, first of March. So like three weeks of nothing. Three weeks of exactly what we have right now. People's attention spans don't last fucking three minutes, much less three weeks, dude. Oh, there was one other thing. A new boat delivery contract is apparently coming. So just like the cargo delivery, um... It'll be like that, just with a boat. I don't know. That's something new, at least. Not major, but... Y'all fuck off. Give me that. What? I know there's a tweet by Fast Stock News. Market's still open. I took yesterday off from doing a YouTube video. Mainly because I was just, I was riding the high of an incredible trade yesterday. It was last day of the month. And, uh, it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes you just completely nail something like perfectly. It was per. It's like the fucking Homelander. Uh, it was perfect. Like this stock, I had an idea. I literally, like, literally shorted it at the high of the day. Top ticked it. Covered it at the low of the day. Bottom ticked it. It looked like I photoshopped the chart. It was... It was sex. It was incredible. And I just... I rode that high all day. I said, you know what? I don't... I don't want to make a video today. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to finish True Detective Season 1. Fucking... Did I drink? No, I did not drink. That seems like a slippery slope. But, uh, yeah, I had an incredible day. Today, more difficult. Still made money. Not as much, but much, much more difficult today. Today was a normal day of, of trading. It was fucking hard, and my brain hurt afterwards. And, um, yeah. Signs grow. This thing's already hurt. I got 9,600. I need, what do I need, 15K? Uh, oh, let me do that. Let me do that out last. Get my health up real quick. Oh, you know what else I want to see? Somebody told me that going right is faster out of here. So we're going to test it. So coming from right here, how much time's left? 25, 27. I'm going to take the fastest route I know of right here, which is once you get here, you just take the left and cut across. Or maybe it's going up over the thing. 
I don't even think it's close though. Going right out of the the thing. So 25, 27. Maybe I didn't take the fastest way, but okay. Let's say 25, 27. So 24, 52. What is that? So 27 seconds and then 8 seconds. How much? 27 plus 8. 7 plus 8 is 15. So it took 35 seconds for me to get there going to the right. The way that I normally go. 35 seconds. And so now I want to test how long does it take if I go left? So we're going to say 24, 17. If we go this way right here. I gotta turn that shit off. Damn, my thing messed up. 24.17 to 23.50. 27 seconds. A full 8 seconds faster if you go to the left. And let's say... I didn't take the fastest way if you go to the right, so shave off another three. At least five seconds faster if you go to the left. I'm glad that we can uh, open and shut that case now. Help at G3? This guy? Should I help him? I do have a scorcher. I'll help you, fool. <clears throat> Don't know why I'm gonna help you, but I'm just I'm in a helping mood. <clears throat> I got you, homie. I should probably pack a punch this. What happened, man? Ain't no fucking way you died over here. <clears throat> Saved him. Did my good deed. My good deed of the day. <laughs> What's crazy too about uh, this season two update is it's supposed to be like a collaboration with The Walking Dead and completely zombie themed. And to have a completely zombie themed fucking season with no zombies content at the launch. Holy crap. I can't grab these. Um, yo, I think they updated these. They used to not go back and forth so quickly. Yo, they definitely did. These used to be much easier to grab. Now they like, yo, I'm not tripping. It used to go in one direction for like a solid five seconds and it was super slow and easy. Now it's like two seconds and then it fucking strafes. They added more strafe. Got it. Yeah, I was looking at all the the Warzone updates, and uh, man, Warzone's getting like um, Fortune's Keep is coming. That would have been cool. Play Fortune's Keep. Damn, they patched this too. This was not a thing before. Where zombies come to your left, right here. They used to only come from the. from the staircase. Well, there does seem like way less of them. 
for some reason. Yeah, it's working, man. Oh. Oh. We're just gonna. We're just gonna do this. Oh boy! Oh, it's gonna get sketch in here, dude. Fuck me. There we go. Fuck him up. Hit him. Yep. We got him. We got him. Look at that. What? Could y'all? Damn. Take that. <clears throat> okay, let's drop that. Oh, I have 18. I have 18k. Okay. Um, do I want to pack a punch? My Lockwood. Should I triple pack a punch? Or pack a punch my Scorcher at all? I think I'll do the. I think I'll do the Lockwood. <laughs> yeah, Warzone's got the uh, Fortune's Keep, Resurgence refocused, uh, new gameplay features, ranked Resurgence. Um, yeah, they got some. They got some stuff over there. I got faith though. Season, <laughs> season three, season three is gonna be gonna be it. Now that they got the High Moon Studios, next time it's always next time. It's gonna be great. Trust, trust. They won't keep stringing us along until they get another eighty bucks out of us, right, guys? They wouldn't do that. Not again. No way. No way. Don't believe it. I was thinking though, I was like, man, like what am I gonna do for zombies content? There's a couple like custom maps. Actually, I downloaded the water park zombies, um, which I'd, I'd like to play. Um, it's on PC though, Black Ops 3. Uh, but I, I downloaded it, so I might, I might end up playing some of that. Um, but I could always just complain a lot. People have made careers out of complaining about video games. And so maybe if they keep sucking, um, I could just, yeah, I could just complain about it. Got him. I'm on fire. You missed. Oh, shit. What's up? Oh shit, I forgot he can walk over that. I don't know why I thought. Maybe I was safe. I heard you with my brazer headphones. We got him. Damn. Oh, back up. Got my rare ether tool. Where is everybody? Got a couple people. We got a team of three in tier two. Uh, one guy just running around doing contracts. We got the the tier one, the tier one newbies. I like the newbies. Bonus points. Not the not a lot of not a lot of tier three folks this time around. Let me upgrade my uh, scorcher real quick.
So y'all let me know what you think about the uh, about the update. I feel like I already know. Just just judging off Twitter's reaction, I read through some some threads. It's a uh, resounding uh, disappointment is is what I've seen. Not really on the content itself, just the fact that nothing is coming uh, at the at the release that we know of. Hell, maybe they surprise us. The Red Worm was the most replayable thing in the game so far. And um, I don't think it was ever talked about. And so if there's a new... Fuck it. Even if it's a new worm, bro. I wish it would be something different than a worm. I'm tired of fighting worms. But, like, even if it's a new worm, I'll take it. Um, if that drops, I'll be cool with that. I'll be I, That'll hold me over for at least... A couple of weeks, I could do all sorts of shit with that. There we go. Same spot. What is the difference between the raid weapon stash contract and the outlast contract? I feel like there is no difference. They just ran out of ideas. <laughs> just made the same contract twice and called it something else. Like, yeah, instead of a generator, just make it a locker. It's not the same mission. It's a whole new thing. Shit, one's on. Fuck, did he come from? Hey, I got a weekly challenge. Oh boy. I could still really use some PhD flubber. We got a whole squad over here. You think they're doing the red worm? I'd like to do the red worm with someone. It's been too long. I think the difference in the Outlast contract in this one is this one takes way longer. Also, I don't know why I throw my ether blade at big zombies. Shit does not work. Well, shit. Quick revive. Okay, well I got 7k. Is there anybody else I can I can help over here? Where'd that team go? Let's go, let's go see what they're up to. We got 11 minutes left in the game. I don't think anyone has typed in the chat. Nope, just the same guy that needed, needed some assistance. These guys are definitely, definitely planning something. And I want to know what it is. I would like to take part. Y'all just hopping in the whip? You better let me in that shit. Y'all better let me in that shit! <sighs> Motherfucker. I'll catch him. 
Actually, I don't know. Maybe I won't. Don't tell me y'all are already going. Are y'all ex-filling? Nope. Dark Drifter 666. Damn. Get them then. Oh, this is, uh, this is Dokabi's fortress. But she's not, she's not here though. We taking the elevator up? What do we think? Is it even possible? I know that shit just said... Yeah. Call the elevator. Nice job, boys. Are they actually coming down? Oh. I'm about to just go up using my scorcher. Oh no, there it is. Let's go squat. <laughs> They're probably like, who the fuck is this guy? Just following us around. Damn, nice pack a punch, dude. I'll yeah, I'll do it. Join the squad. Yeah, gang. Yeah, gang shit. What the fuck? Is that Snoop Dogg? <laughs> When did that happen? I did not know there was a Snoop thing. I don't think they realized that Do Dokabi ain't here. That bitch gone. Unless... Oh, shit. I don't know. Is she here? No. Definitely is not. Wrong, wrong game, fellas. Oh, okay, this is another normal pack a punch. Maybe they were just coming up here to uh, to loot. I don't know. There's definitely nobody doing the worm though. Okay, I think I've uh, I think I've said my piece um, for the day. So why don't we? Head out. Yeah, he's already leaving. Why don't we head out and uh, hit this exfil? Yo, what the fuck? The tier two exfil is crazy. Fucking helicopter. Uh. Oh shit, I dropped my either blade. Don't even need it. Don't even need it. Okay, we got out safe. Let's go, boys. All right. Um, so once again, I think that's going to do it for this episode of MW3 Zombies. If I hear anything else um, that comes around, obviously, I will uh, I will be back. But as it as it stands right now, it looks like not going to have a ton of content um, come February 7th like we were hoping. So I'll definitely still be playing some zombies. Um might do some more of the camo grind. Uh, I do want to do some custom zombies, like I said, some water park zombies um, as well. So still got some some things to do and, and keep busy, but definitely slightly disappointed in hearing that everything uh, for zombies is coming mid-season. So 
good news, bad news, you know, we'll, we'll take them both in stride. But thank you all so much for tuning in uh, to the video, and I will catch you right back here next time. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance. And as always, guys, I don't really...